Hi everybody, it's Friday the 20th. I know you haven't seen me in a couple of days. I've been busy working and uh, they keep giving me more hours. I don't wanna work that much. I have to work all day tomorrow. I have Sunday off. I have what, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I have to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a lot, right? I think it is. So, I had started getting Epsi, and they sent me this refreshments box. And I think I'm going to um, end it. I know I just started it. But I was going crazy today, like going through subscriptions, canceling this, doing that. I finally got my passport photos taken. I have to renew my passport. Am I going anywhere? No, but I just want to make sure I have it in case of emergency. Because my son is dating someone who travels a lot. I'm not going to go into what she does for a living because really it's too personal. But he's going to get a chance to go overseas because she goes overseas. So heaven forbid something happens. I'm always preparing for emergency. That's the way I am. I was always the caretaker in the family. Everybody depended on me. And people said, well, it's not the case anymore. I can't help it. It's a part of me. So this is the little pouch they sent. I thought it was kind of cute. And um, they have little stickers too. Um, where are the stickers? And it's not a lot. They have cleansing face wipes. I could always use them. I use them to remove makeup. And luscious hand cream. Citrus spritz. Really doesn't smell like much anything. I like the box it came in though. <laughs> use that for something and those two books I got from the library I found out I can order them on Amazon hold on a second let me show you my yarn thing I'm using that Burnett baby velvet and I'm making one big giant granny square so it's turned out all right it's going to be used though because I have four cakes and I'm still not still not finished with the one or four hanks whatever that's okay. I'm still not crazy about the color, but it's for me. But I haven't really gotten much chance to crochet or, or knit. I got my car serviced the other day, and um, I did a, quite a bit of knitting waiting for the car. I didn't really give them a good review on the survey because they didn't keep me updated on what was happening with the car. I don't like that. I could have went and got some lunch and came back. See, all you have to do is tell me what's going on and I'm a happy girl. You don't tell me, I'm not a happy girl. <laughs> you know. I had now we're switching gears and we're talking about the printer i have it's an hp printer i bought it last year and there was this thing called instant ink where you stay and you keep your computer you know your printer on and they can tell when your levels are getting low well i they changed the network where i lived and i was trying to reconnect the printer and coming here and it wasn't an easy process. I was like beating myself up that I couldn't get it. But I called, I finally called tech. They walked me through it and it wasn't that easy. I'm not crazy about the printer either. I wouldn't recommend that printer. I mean, I paid money for it last year. I don't want to just give it away. But um, next time I buy a printer, I know more what I'm looking for. I was so spoiled by my one printer printer that I had. Um, 
when did I have it? I think, was I still in New York? I don't remember. But that printer lasted forever. It was great. <laughs> and then it just died. But I only paid $50 for it. I don't like this wireless stuff. I like when you connect it and you connect it to the computer and, oh uh, well. I asked for too much, I suppose. So let me do some trivia. It's the 20th, but yesterday, the 19th, was Bill Clinton's birthday. He was born in 1946. And John Stamos, he was born in 1963. And on August 19th, 2004, the internet search engine Google went public. And this is the interesting fact. What movie now lends its name to a specific psycho psychological disorder? And that's the Truman Show. It was 1998 film starring Jim Carrey. He serves as a um, suburbanite, stars as a suburbanite. And his every move is filmed and broadcast to the world. I've only seen part of that movie. I have to watch it again. Patients suffering from Truman Syndrome. Um, Truman Show Delusion. That's what they call it. The Truman Show Delusion. Believe their entire life is staged. It's a stage reality show. Can you imagine that? Well, you know, those of us have YouTube channels. <laughs> we could say our life is like that. Nah, I know it's not funny. Anyway, they believe their life is a stage reality show and they are being watched and filmed by cameras. Their friends, family, and co-workers are all reading from scripts and the home and workplace are just backdrops. I don't know. Do you think your life would make a good reality show? I don't know if mine would. I think it would be kind of boring. <laughs> and the plant rosemary belongs to which family of plants? And that would be a mint. And the saying of the day is, the past is in your head. The future is in your hands. So you can do a lot with that. So today, August 20th, is the birthday of Robert Plant from said Le Led Zeppelin. I'm just calling it said Leppelin. <laughs> Led Zeppelin. Oh, dear. He was born 1948. I thought he was older than that, to be honest with you. And Al Roker, he was born 1954. And what's another name for a pregnant goldfish? And that is a twit. So next time somebody calls you a twit, tell them, I'm not pregnant. So which animal has a massive horn like protrusion that is actually a tooth? And I'll show a picture toward the end. It's called a Norwell. It's often described as the unicorn of the sea. It's spelled N-A-R-W-A-L. And when you see it, you're gonna say, you're either gonna say, I've seen that before, or I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen one of them before. But there's a reason for that. And I will get to that. It's a species of whale, like a beluga whale. It's around the same size. With a long tusk, like a, a spiral tusk protruding from its head. The tusk is usually found on males. It's actually an enlarged canine tooth, which can grow as large or as long as 10 feet. Ooh, you imagine? You're that, you know, this, this long spiral is coming towards you. And you're like, what is that? Well, it's their Norwell. 
they live year-round in Arctic waters. That's why I haven't seen them. <laughs> Arctic waters of Canada, Greenland, and Russia. And they're about the size of beluga whales. So that's about it. I don't really have much else to talk about. Um, it's just been a very confusing day trying to get things settled and uh, I got my passport photos taken. Now I have to figure out what I do next. <laughs> I know I have to fill out a form. I really could go to a passport agency, but you know, I don't know if that would cost me more money and I don't really need the passport in a hurry. I know it expires the end of October. As long as I get it done sometime next week, that would be fine. That will be plenty of time. So I'm behind on watching videos. What else is new? And uh, I've just been going out as hot as could be. I don't feel like going out tonight. It's been so hot. And they keep saying it's going to rain, but it hasn't rained yet. So I hope everybody's doing fine. I'll talk to you later. Bye.